this is the secret that will make sure that collectors will buy from you again and again and again for eternity. They will keep on coming back. They will keep on wanting your art because of one thing that you do for them. One feeling that you give them that they can get enough of. That one little piece of paper and the thing that it represents is like an alcohol addiction for alcoholics. It will give them something that they wanted so bad for the last decades. And finally they get it because you give it to them. And then they will just keep on coming back over and over and over. This is the quickest way to sell your art. The quickest way to make money. The quickest way to make sure that collectors line up and wait in line until you have art again available. The reason why. Damien Hirst is selling so much art for so much money is because he gives people a sense of importance. He gives people a feeling they cannot get anywhere else. And that feeling you can generate as well without being famous, without being Damien Hirst. After all, Damien Hirst generated it all the way in the beginning when he wasn't famous yet. And so the main question here is how can we make sure that the collector that buys from us feels important, feels like they're the king of the world and no, a thank you note is not going to do it. You hear this on the internet all the time, oh, just write a thank you note. Just build a relationship with a sincere thank you note that you wrote with, with your hands. Nobody cares. Nobody will buy, again, a $10,000 object like a painting because you wrote them a thank you note. No collector ever bought, again, because of a thank you note. And so how are we going to actually do that? Because here's the thing. If we can make sure that they buy a gap from us on a yearly basis, then we only need 10 collectors. Think about this. If you are selling art for $5,000 and you only have 10 collectors, only 10 customers, that's nothing. But you can figure out how they will buy from you again every single year. Then you will have $50,000 a year. Simple. And so how can we do that? How can we make them feel so important, so good, so... How can we give them a feeling that they cannot get anywhere in the world? If you can solve that, then all of your dreams will come true. So let me tell you a story of a moment in time where I probably felt like the king of the world. Everything was working in my favor. So here's what happened. The person that I met at university started working for Vice, one of the famous magazines, one of the best media institutions at that time. And at random, she decided to write an article about my work. And so the article came out. The article was amazing. The title was Dries Ketels paints like Zeus. He is a god. And so I was... I cannot describe how I felt. I felt like I was the king of the world. What? One of the best magazines in the world, one of the most famous magazines in the world is writing about me, that I make, that I make God of the art world. This is insane. This is absolutely nuts. I felt like my art career was going to blow up. I felt like this was the moment. This is what a beginner emerging arts looks like right before he blows up. I felt amazing. I was literally fantasizing about collectors, about journalists about academics reading this article 150 years from now. That was that was going on in my mind. Delusional, but that was going on in my mind. I felt amazing. Now here's the funny part of this whole story. When this magazine article appeared, hundreds of thousands of people read it. And you know what happened? Not a single goddamn thing. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. Of course nobody cared. The only person that cared was me. I thought it was amazing. And so it was all one big masturbation of the self. I was masturbating myself, masturbating myself on the idea that I had of this insane future. This is how the world works. People buy fancy clothes, people buy fancy cars, but nobody cares. Nobody cares about your fancy car. The only person that cares is the person that is driving the car. This is how the world works. This is what we need to understand. If we understand this and we can give this feeling to the collector, we can give this feeling that they are walking on top of the world, that they are actually writing history. If we can give them the feeling that people will read about them 150 years from now, 200 years from now, 250 years from now, then they will keep on coming back. They will buy our art at any price point and they will keep on buying our art at any price point because they cannot get this feeling anywhere in the world. This is in fact the answer. The thank you note is the answer. The thank you note works. But nowadays, everybody is writing thank you notes. And so the idea of the thank you note works. It's just that now it's saturated. It became saturated. It's, it doesn't work that well anymore because everybody is writing thank you notes. And so what is the 21st century version of a thank you note? Because here's the thing. The thank you note all the way in the beginning for our people is the certificate of authenticity. That 
fancy piece of paper, the certificate of authenticity, it worked tremendously well in the beginning. The first guys that got his certificate of authenticity felt important as fuck. Like, wow, I have this uh, this important paper that shows me that this is actually an authentic piece of art. Wow, this is great. Now nobody cares. Everybody has certificates of authenticity. It's it's like it's a non thing anymore. And so after this video, you are obviously going to understand how to do exactly that, how to give them that feeling, that sense of being important, being part of the history books. Because you are much smarter than these 15th century peasant arts that are walking around and writing thank you notes with their hands. Thank you notes with their hands is not gonna do shit. Let's think a little bit more about this. Why is Damien Hirst selling for millions? Why is there a skull that sells for $50 million or whatever it is? Why? Because this skull makes the collector feel important. It's that simple. Look at me. Look at what I have. I have this amazing skull. There's only one of these skulls in the world and it's cost $50 million. That's why. That's it. That's it. And so if you can generate that feeling, then you are in. If you can generate that feeling, it's game over. You will win. But how can you generate that feeling if you're not Damien Hurst? How can you generate that feeling if you don't have a couple of million dollars or 10 million, 20 million to spend on diamonds to cover a skull? How can you do that? Well, figure out what people dream about. Figure out what these collectors actually want. And then, once you figure that out, you can start creating a package, creating an offer, creating something that will fulfill that dream. And here's the thing, if you make people's dreams come true, guess what's going to happen? Your dream will come true as well. As simple as that. That's the key to the kingdom. Now, in order to help you accomplish this, I've made a PDF with 30 plus art collector profiles that completely profiles them, completely explains everything about art collectors so that you can start thinking about it. Well, if this is what they want, this is what they dream of through my PDF, then I can fulfill this dream in this or this or that way. That's what you need to do. So you can click on the link in the description. It's free, free PDF. I mean, what can I do? So here's a game that everybody is playing in the art world. Whoever understands the collector best wins the game. And so what do these collectors do? Why are they art collectors? Well, they read the art history books and they started dreaming about the art history books just like you started dreaming, remember? They started dreaming about these art history books and they started dreaming about their collections being featured in those art history books, their collections, their interior with art on the walls of their interior being featured in these famous academic books that are that are being read for hundreds of years. That's what they were dreaming about. Just like you are dreaming about your art being featured in those books. Oh, look at this. Uh, if only my art one day could be featured in those books. And so this is a very similar dream that they have. And so you have to understand this dream and then give this dream to them. And so how are you going to do that? Well, very simple. You go to your computer and you write an email to the 10 collectors that you have or the 15 collectors or whatever amount of collectors. You write an email. Hey, there's this famous magazine, this famous journalist. This doesn't really matter. You can call every journalist that is writing for a famous magazine a famous journalist. And the people want to believe what they want to believe, so they will believe it. And to some extent, it's also true because it's a massive magazine. And so, yes, to some extent, these journalists are famous. So you can write this. There's this famous journalist that wants to write an article about my work. And I want your work, you, the work that I sold to you, your interior being featured in that article, please. Send me a, a picture of your interior with the beautiful artwork and all of that stuff. And they're going to be amazed. They're going to be off. Oh, oh my God. Wow. You're kidding me. My interior being featured. That's amazing. And so now they are already feeling massively important. Now, you don't have this article yet. You don't have the journalist yet that is going to write this article. Listen, it doesn't matter. You get all of these emails coming back with with collectors like oh my god this is amazing they are already masturbating themselves about this idea and then once you have those pictures you go to a magazine a really nice magazine that you like and you can literally pay them to write the article you can literally just pay them to write the article and this doesn't cost too much this is not like some insane amount of money that you have to pay no this doesn't cost too much then once the article is written you show it to them they can get enough of it they start dreaming about the whole thing about being featured in the history books and the key to being featured in the history books becomes you your art you are the reason that they will be remembered in the history books if you can generate that feeling they will come back for you to as simple as that. And so then the question becomes, well, how can you make sure that your art is featured inside 
top level magazines, the best magazines in the world, so that these collectors dream of being part of history thanks to your work. You are the key to their kingdom, to their dreams. Well, how can you do that? Well, the short answer is simple. You go into my program. Inside of the program, I literally give you all of the email scripts that you can copy paste so that you can reach those journalists and get free magazine features, not paid, free in the best magazine, just like Vice Magazine that I showed you. The even shorter answer that doesn't require you to buy my shit is the following. Just pay for it. Just pay the magazines. Just go and write to those journalists and pay them. This happens all of the time. You would be surprised of how many top-level artists are paying journalists to write magazine features about them. Happens all of the time. And so I'm giving you everything. You know? I'm giving I'm, I'm, you don't have to buy my shit. You can just literally go to the journalists and, 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 and pay for it yourself and do the whole thing. This will work and this will probably be quicker if you have the money. This will be quicker than writing cold email approaches to journalists and all of that stuff. But this will be way quicker. An important note to make here, you have to act quick on this. This is only possible in the next couple of years. Seven years ago, this was not possible. Think about it. Seven years ago, if you wanted to use this strategy seven years ago, then you would need a team of film people, of photographers going to the collector's home to be able to take professional pictures that were of high quality enough so that these could be used in magazines, so that these could be used in like online profiles and all that stuff. Today, the phone... A simple phone is good enough. Today, that is good enough. And so now you can do this. In the next couple of years, you will be able to do this. But three years from now, four years from now, it's over. You know? These strategies are gone. These strategies will become saturated. All artists that are watching this video, not all, almost nobody will actually do this, but some artists will start doing this and they will start seeing success. And if people start seeing success, then, then everybody else is also going to do it and it becomes saturated again. And so how can you get these types of strategies faster Quicker. How do you get them when they are hot, when, 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 when nobody else is doing it? Well, it's very simple. You are only as good as your five best friends. And so you have to become part of a community of arts that take themselves seriously, of artists that are successful, artists that are pushing themselves, artists that are really putting everything on the line. And so, again, link in the description. This is where my art community comes in. This is where this whole program, the first online artist residency aimed at making money, comes in. This is why I created this, so that you can become part of this community, so that you can get these strategies when they work instead of five years after they work. Now there's one more thing left that we have to talk about. Now that you know how to make sure that collectors keep on buying from you again and again and again and again until you have no art left, until you have no art anymore, until all of your art is sold and then they are knocking on your doors trying, asking for more art because they're so desperate to get that feeling again. And then collectors, no, then gallerists start seeing that all of those collectors are knocking on your doors. Everybody wants your art and then they also want a piece of the pie. Well, now that you know how to do that, there's one more thing left because it only works if you already have collectors. And so what if you don't have collectors yet? What if, if you still need your first art collector or second art collector or third art collector? Well, in that scenario, just watch my video. I think it's this one. Yeah. Drowning in unsold art, the one skill that makes all others obsolete. That's the video. Go to it. Make your dreams come true. That said, get the hell out of here.